Suppose this is a river. It's a straight line. This is your house. Let's call this point A. And this is your friend's house. Let's call this point F. You want to go from A to the river and then from the river to your friend's house. That's your goal. How can you do this? Uh, well, there is a variety of way you can do it. For example, you could go from A to some point on the river. Let's call it X. And then you can go from X to F. Or you could choose some other point maybe. Maybe you, go, maybe you can go straight from the point A to the river. And then from that point to F. So there are many paths. There are many paths from A to the river and from the river to F. Our goal is to find the shortest path. Find the shortest path from A to the river to the friend's house. So you can pause the video here and give, give it a try. Because this is a problem of a geometric transformation called reflection. And that's what we are going to learn in this particular video. Reflection is a very powerful geometry transformation. Many difficult geometry problems can be easily solved if you know how to reflect. It's an isometry, which means it preserves the, dist uh, the size, in fact. It's called size. There is a precise meaning of the word isometry. But for the moment, uh, if we have the letter P and if we reflect it about a mirror, then the output, that is the reflected image, will have the same size. A more precise meaning of isometry is this, that if you take any two points on P and if you take the image of those two points, so image of this point is point A is A prime, image of B is B prime. Then the diff distance between A, B and distance between A prime, B prime will be same. So that means isometry is a geometric transformation such that the distance between point 1 and point 2 and their images whatever the initial distance was, the distance between image 1 and image 2 will be the same. So isometry preserves the distance between any pair of points. However, uh, it does. this reflection does not preserve orientation. Anyway, how can you find the um, shortest path from A to the river to F? This is how you can think about it. This is also a problem of triangular inequality. And in its simplest form, triangular inequality says that if you have two points A and B, then the distance between AB, there is a segment AB, is shorter than if you take any other point and go from A to that point and then to C. So it's less than AC plus BC. So this is really the definition of a straight line. So triangular inequality is in disguise the definition of a straight line. It says that the shortest way to go from A to B is the segment joining AB. If you take a roundabout turn via some other point C, this will be larger. Okay. All right. So let's come back to our setup. We have the river L R, the point A, 
and the friend's home at f. So the solution is something like this. You reflect A about the river. So you have to think of the river as the mirror. This is A prime, suppose. Now join A prime F. Join A prime F. Wherever A prime F intersects the river, that is our desired point X. So let's join AX now. This path that is A X F, A to X, X to F, this path is the shortest. Now, why is that? If you pick any other point Y, let's pick this point Y, and let's join FY and AY. We want to show that AY plus FY is larger than AX plus FX. Right? Because we chose y arbitrarily, some other point than x. If we can show for any point y here, ay plus fy will be larger than ax plus fx, then we would be able to co conclusively say that, okay, a x ax plus a xf, this is the shortest path or the shortest distance that we can think of. So how do we show this? Okay, so we can join y a prime. This is just a construction. So notice that a y plus f y, a y is equal to a prime y, and f y is f y. We we want to show that that is greater than a x plus f x. But AX is A prime X. AX is same as A, A prime X because this is just a reflection. So A.